भारत की शक्ति और भारत की आवश्यकता कनाडा के संपत्ति और कनाडा का सामर्थ्य इंडिया प्लस कनाडा आप कल्पना कर सकते हो हम दुनिया में कितनी बड़ी ताकत के रूप में उभर सकते हैं We are the two largest democracies in the world, one by population and one by size. And I think that uh, pulls us together tremendously right. This was in uh, the mid 2000s when 12 people got together and formed the organization and it was a fantastic idea because we saw that there was a void in the space there was a lot happening on trade business culture but in terms of policy issues between the two countries Canada and India there was not enough being done bring issues which India needed to be addressed in Canada and Canada needed to be addressed in India. The visions and the values of both countries were the same. Both were multi-cultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religional. And we thought that we need to get that mind space together. Something like CIF needed to be born. The CIF is a policy-driven, policy advocacy group which works toward the benefit of two different countries. This organization is very, very important because there's a huge diaspora here of uh, Indian origin people. And um, if we can just connect with two great countries. I think uh, CIF uh, provides a very unique uh, uh, platform uh, in bringing people together, uh, policy makers together, uh, businesses, government, academia, industry together. Uh, to help strengthen the bilateral relations between Canada and India. India has come a long way. They've opened up the markets. There are a lot of Canadian companies investing in India. India needs Canada. Canada needs India. We decided uh, to interface with uh, various ministries at the federal level and provincial level. We brought such a senior person like President Kalam here and our own Prime Minister Stephen Harper together and we were able to bring the subject and that made the benefit. Today we have signed the Civil Nuclear Agreement and Canada and India are working together. Uh, we established uh, the award, the Global Indian Award. Uh, the first award was given to Sam Petroda who is a uh, Master of te Telecommunication Industry in India. And we had the then Prime Minister Mr. Stephen Harper as a keynote speaker and the ex-president of India as one of the guests of honors. I'm greatly privileged and honored to receive this award from the Canada India Foundation. I am extremely grateful to the management of this foundation for having chosen me. Vasudev Kutumkam means the world is one family. We went one step ahead and we said the whole world is my family. Last year we had given uh, an award to the Yoga Maharaj, Baba Ramdev. And I think that was one of the excellent choice that we have made in the last few years. Mainly because this was an individual who has brought not only spirituality in the realm, but he has also brought the business into the realm. So this was a perfect mixture of uh, business and spiritual combined. Main highlights what I have seen is uh, like different forums. Like now we are going towards the education forum, but before that we have the health forum and all the other summits before. We did the healthcare uh, conference in India and Canada addressing the issues how Canada with the universal healthcare can help India. Uh, the outcome of that was uh, William Osler, um, uh, which is a famous hospital here, and Apollo Hospitals, which is one of the biggest uh, hospitals in India. They collaborated after Apollo attended the health forum here in Toronto. My thought in joining that was to bring innovation in education and to sell India because we are getting more than 100,000 Indian students as international students here. So it is adding to the Canadian economy. Why not 
pass on that benefit of education to India. We do invite various speakers where they come and give us insight of their particular field. We are providing access to the labor market just as well as the public. We will give them a word. We had our immigration minister, Mr. Ahmed Hussain, and he gave us insight of Canada's immigration policy. So it was beneficial to the community at large. Last year, Ontario Provincial Parliament, a private member's motion was put through by a member of the Liberal Party. We took a big stance against that. That was a tragedy. I sympathize with everybody and anybody who suffered any loss. But one thing I want to say, it was not a genocide. The people who are calling them as a genocide are wrong. And that was the stand we took as Canada India Foundation. And this is why we have initiated know your MPP or know your MP. Who you want to elect? You want to elect somebody who is French of India and Canada. Somebody who believes in United India. All of the board members, all the members are very accomplished in their own fields but they bring in all sorts of uh, um, experiences uh, that, we, that everybody can learn from and we stray away from uh, leftism or rightism. We're right bang in the center. We're right bang in secular democratic principles. And we're right bang in building a value for two very, very important countries to get together in the future. We want to build bridges with the other organizations within the community, be it uh, business or be it social. And I think if you um, have those bridges, you'll have a greater voice to move policy. I think collectively CIF uh, members employ more than 10,000 Canadians. That definitely motivates politicians to bend an ear and listen to us. It's business to business and also politician to politician. Politicians make this happen, business people execute. India has got so many qualified people. Let's bring them together and that'll be a marriage of two. What one has, the other needs. What Canada has, India needs. India has Canada needs.